Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another beautiful sunny day here on the Stony Ridge Farm. Today we're going to be working on Old Silver. <laughs> this is our farm truck and on the back of Old Silver is our fuel system that we use here on the farm. This is a 100 gallon fuel tank and I'm having fuel troubles again. So the last time we were working on this tank, we rebuilt the motor and we put a fuel water separator. I'm getting no trash whatsoever. However, I'm still getting water in my fuel and I'm still getting trash. So we've narrowed it down to a hose issue so today we're going to replace the hose we're going to cut open the old hose and take a look at it we're going to put a swivel nozzle and a little bit more of a high flow nozzle on this pump so come along we'll have a little bit of fun all right Okay, so the first move is <laughs> I've got a load of feed on the back there, so we're going to take that up to the cows <laughs> so they'll stop mooing, and we'll show you the cows real quick before we get started on this job. Tune in for tomorrow's video. You'll see what that is in the back of that truck. We're going to take that off and give it a test. It is, well, you'll have to tune in tomorrow to see it, but it's something for a butcher shop. We're gonna go ahead and start working on getting our butcher shop all set up here as we start planning to build our nice big workshop. Backing in right here, I had to put it in four wheel drive. It's been wet and nasty out. We've had like, I don't know, two or three inches of rain sometime in the last three days and we're supposed to have ice tomorrow morning. You wouldn't know it by how pretty it is right now though. Beautiful out here. Okay, so gradually I've been moving this feeder up the hill so that we don't have a big muddy mess right here. So the cows are going to come right here waiting for the food and all we have right now is just some sweet feed and basically I'm just trying to train them to follow me and come when I'm around them. That way when they get out or if they get out I can always get them to follow me. Actually we're going to be intensively grazing these pastures so it's very important that the cows follow me. Woo cow! Good boy. Lay down. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. What are you fussing about, cow? So these guys only get about a gallon of food per day. There's plenty of forage out here and we're actually gonna throw a bale out to them tomorrow after the ice storm and give them some hay. We really don't need to. As you can see, the grass is nice and green and the cows are nice and fat, but this is just a treat for them every day. Donkey, donkey. This is an old pickle barrel that we bought on Craigslist. If you look on Craigslist, you can find this kind of stuff. Save yourself a little bit of money and get a good high quality barrel. I've been using this for about five years now. No problems at all. Pickle barrel, pretty cool. Let's go get busy working on the truck. All right, in order to start this right, we'll show you what we have. So up here we have a combination padlock which keeps honest people honest. <laughs> and this is the setup that we currently have. So this is a fairly new nozzle, but as you can see, it's really not, 
as nice as the one I'm getting ready to put on and it doesn't have a swivel in other words it won't swivel along with the hose now let me show you a little bit of the hose here and it's not all that bad but if you see it's cracked right here what I experienced was a complete stoppage of fuel flow from that hose without straightening it all the way out. And I think inside this hose, and we're gonna dissect it by the way, so we're gonna take it apart with a saw or whatever it is I need to do to take it apart. But inside the hose somewhere is a restriction and that's what's causing trash and or water to seep into the hose so somewhere along the way there's a damaged portion inside this hose and that's why we're replacing this so gonna be pretty fun probably a couple different tools we'll need to use I'll take you back to the tailgate and I'll show you everything that we're using to fix it first part is the new nozzle and this nozzle will stop once fuel hits it and you can see it's much bigger and much more robust nozzle than the one that we currently have next is the swivel and again all this stuff is from husky i'll post links down the video description if you want to pick something up like this from amazon but this is the swivel connector and that basically allows the nozzle to swivel so this will be connected right into the fuel nozzle and then this will connect to our new husky hose and this hose is i believe the 12 or 15 foot hose and it's a much larger hose this is a one inch hose and we currently have a three quarter inch dry rotted old crappy hose that's going to be a big upgrade now if you're considering making upgrades to your fuel system on the back of your pickup truck if you've got a fuel tank like this use teflon tape that is rated for fuel okay if you use regular teflon tape it's just going to break down and end up in your fuel system so use the right stuff this is called mega tape i picked it up at lowe's just use the right stuff or you'll pay for it later on make the investment and do it right let's take this thing apart i already anticipated putting a larger hose on this so when we bought our nipples our threaded nipples to go onto our fuel system we bought one inch nipples we're going to take it all apart and put the new hose on pull this guy loose and what we're going to do is take this a loose and we also have a one inch elbow here and we're going to remove this little adapter right here so pretty simple righty oh yeah nice problem you run into with screwing in a hose like this is that the whole hose needs to be turned so hopefully <laughs> we've got enough that we don't make a huge mess and get diesel fuel all over us and that's why i'm wearing rubber gloves because i know i'm going to get diesel fuel on myself and i just don't want to smell it for the rest of the day there we go see and a little diesel preservative for the truck here too now we'll take this adapter out and this takes it from uh, one inch to uh three quarter inch and this glove is totally full <laughs> of diesel fuel there we go clear out all that old teflon tape so typically i'll use a tub of towels or some kind of product like that since i filled my glove with diesel fuel i think i might wipe myself off and i'm gonna wipe the truck off a little bit this basically just gets rid of that grease that's associated with diesel fuel and that way I'm not leaning up against diesel fuel. I didn't anticipate it coming out of right here. Long life truck preservative. And we'll hit it with a rag here. Also, make sure we're nice and clean up in that elbow. Man, make my truck shine. I got a clean spot on the truck. <laughs> so the hose comes already pre-cut and pressed with our fittings on here. And you just take this little piece off right there. Get rid of that and then we'll put our Teflon tape on. Now we want to make sure our Teflon tape goes in the same direction that we would be tightening this. And that way it pulls the Teflon tape tighter instead of wrapping it the other way and causing it to unravel as we tighten. So we want to make sure that we're putting it on the same direction. Pretty simple stuff. The ABCs of plumbing and Teflon tape. Now this is a tapered thread and I really don't have to use Teflon tape on it, but I am just for my own sake. So you do what works for you. Cool. Good to go. Now we'll take this whole hose and I won't unravel it first. I'm just going to take it just like this and try and connect it up at the front. And I changed my mind. I am going to unravel the hose. I'm just going to leave the cap on the other end. And that way it's easier to thread on here. Sometimes these can be a bit of a bugger because of the length and the cumbersomeness of the hose. 
I think we're gonna be good though. Nice. There we go. Doesn't have to be super duper ultra gorilla tight. Uh, just snug so it doesn't leak. Okay, straighten out my hose. All right, now we're gonna install the nozzle portion on. We'll go ahead and put our Teflon tape on our swivel here. Much higher quality than came on this. Better than factory, that's for sure. Husky, Husky is the brand. Okay, so first, get rid of that, and we'll slide this elbow or flexible elbow in here. It's not an elbow, what is it? <laughs> Swivel, that's what it is. Ah, there we go. Got a little diesel on my hands again. <laughs> Come on, baby. We're about to run out of Teflon tape, which is all good. Now for our one inch monster hose. And we're gonna go get the tractor after this and fill the tractor up too. But stay tuned, cause we're gonna dissect that old hose and see what's up, what's going on in the inside of it. All right, make sure we don't cross the red. There we go. Nice, so this swivels here and here. So it makes it so much easier to install and dent the side of your truck. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, it's a farm truck, baby. Oh, baby. All right, cool. Now, let's compare this new one with the old one. Let's make sure it goes in its little home. Yep, just like the other one. This is the old factory one, and you can see the handle basically it just pulls right out. Look, check this out. It just kind of flops around in there. Much smaller compared to the new guy. Huge difference, huge, huge difference. Now I can't wait to put fuel in my tractor, <laughs> even though it costs me every time I squeeze that handle. Big, big difference, guys. We'll hang on to this in case we get another fuel tank here on the farm. Let's go dissect that hose and see what was wrong with it. So check this out. This is a Milwaukee reciprocating saw or sawzall, but it's not a typical shape of a sawzall, you know, that's really long. This is awesome for limbing up trees and stuff like that. Pretty cool saw. We picked it up on Amazon. I'll post a link down there. Let's grab this old hose, pull it over here and get to cutting. What I'm gonna do is try to get it in a bad spot and we'll just cut it. I've got a metal cutting saw blade on here. Hopefully that works. Woo! and doesn't catch on fire. I think it's gonna catch on fire. Smoking. So this has wire inside of it, which I didn't think it would be that. Look at how bad it's cracking right there. That's how old and worn this is. I don't know if that's gonna work. I think we're gonna to have to use snippers to cut it. Reinforcements are here. This guy and a pair of tin snips. See if we can snip into this thing. I want to I want to try and get a good clean cut. So first we're going to try this fellow right here. Oh yeah. Maybe. Good gracious. That's tough, man. Whew. I'd like to get a good clean cut, but I don't think I'm going to. There we go. Come on. Need a pair of ratcheting cutters to cut that. Insane. All right, 10 snips it is. Back to the saw. Timber! 
I don't know if you can see down in there or not. I can see it. It's broken down in here. The rubber has started breaking down, down deep inside there. It's hard to see with this camera angle, but we did the right thing. I'm most certain of that. Ah, swivel is nice. I can tuck the hose. The hose was normally hanging off over the side of the pickup truck. So awesome. There's just one thing left to do. We're going to go grab the John Deere 5065 and fill her up. the pump on and the hose has to fill up so we got to think about that too give her a minute to build up some pressure I anticipate a little coughing in other words that <laughs> there we go oh yeah look at that stream the thing is just ripping fuel through there this is supposed to cut off automatically once it's full Let's keep an eye on it and see what it does. Again, this is a Husky pump nozzle and Husky hose and a Husky swivel and no leaks. <laughs> oh yeah, she's gonna stop automatically. Leave this in here. I'll just demonstrate how it turns off automatically right there. As soon as it hits fuel. Awesome. Go ahead and top this thing all the way off. A lot more fuel flow than the other one. You can see right here, it's not billowing out of there, but it's still a lot more fuel flow than the other one. Awesome. Well, hopefully that's the last of our fuel woes here on the farm. We rebuilt the pump. We cleaned out the tank. We replaced the nozzle twice, and now we've replaced the hose. So hopefully everything is totally done. Oh, and we also put the fuel water separator filter system on there. So hopefully everything is good to go with our fuel system for next season. I'm super happy about that. Spring is in the air. The plants are starting to grow. Hopefully here in North Carolina, we'll be able to start slinging some grass seed here early in the season. I don't think we're gonna have any days below freezing after this week unbelievable a really warm winter we've had here in north carolina guys thanks a lot for joining me here on the stony ridge farm today please if you like this kind of content pound that like button leave comments down there if you have any comments or suggestions and i look forward to seeing you on the next video where we're going to take this critter off of the back of the truck and i'll tell you it's a piece of butchering equipment we're going to build a butcher shop here on the farm we'll show you how to butcher animals good stuff see you next time Woo! Well, come on down to the stony ridge bring your wife and bring your